Now, before that, videographer Dom Thomas and investigative reporter Guy and Espina sat down this afternoon with Pharmac's medical director, Dr Ken Clark, and asked him if the concerns of epilepsy patients and their families are justified. No doubt uh, some may well be, uh, and that's, for, that's why we have clearly seen that uh, patients and their doctors need to talk these things through. And if, for instance, a patient has some unstable health concerns in respect to their epilepsy or their mood, uh, depending on the reason they're on the medicine, and feel they're best to just stay with their previous brand, we will support that. Are you sure it's only three deaths? We can never be certain, but there have been three deaths reported in this time period, uh, and uh, sadly, deaths are of course occurring in, in these patient groups as others, but we don't know for certain, of course. But you are concerned enough that these deaths may be linked to the brand switch in order to make this announcement today? We would never be arrogant enough to totally exclude that possibility, but our expert clinical advisors, and we have been back to them repeatedly, indicate that this brand, the one we have on sole supply of Lamotrigine, is as safe as the other brands and as appropriate. But we do not want people out of fear stopping their Lamotrigine uh, and so we feel it's really important that they and their doctors can access other brands if that has felt best. This is important. So are you saying that you're making the change so that people don't stop taking Lamotrigine? Or are you making the change because you believe that there is some risk with the brand switch? Which is it? So that people stay on their medicine. So you don't believe there's any risk of these adverse reactions from switching brands? It, it would be, it, in clinical medicine, one always has to consider the other possibilities. And we have and actively are and are listening to MedSafe and other organisations. Well, why didn't you listen to MedSafe when they told you not to do it in the first place? That's not correct. It is correct. They I've gone they back gave many us, times. They okay, gave let, us let, their let, opinion. Let, let, let me quote it to you then. MedSafe considers that the proposal goes against the international consensus on switching brands of anti-epileptic medicines. MedSafe also considers that this proposal poses a potential significant safety issue. I've read it. I've gone back to it many times. They said don't do it. They said they don't want you to do it. And we listened. We took that advice to our clinical experts that are working day in, day out with patients and considered, and they considered that advice alongside Pharmac and indicated that this was a sensible and reasonable thing to do. Sitting here today, was it? Yes, I still believe that that is so. So why are you changing? You've, you've basically ditched the brand switch. No, we most certainly have not. Well, you're, allow well you're allowing people to, to, to be funded on Lamictal and Arrow, aren't you? We, we are if they and their doctor have true concerns about aspects of not tolerating the brain switch or other concerns about the stability of their health conditions and therefore remembering that over 8,000 people of the 12,000 people on the Lamotrigine have changed. Yes, and three people have died, at least. And you're making an assumption that that is due to the brain change. No, I'm not. I never did that. I, I'm looking at your own statement. You're, sa you're saying that we are aware that three people have, de have, have died. Indeed. We understand the news of the three deaths of p patients taking Lamotrigine. This is your own press release. Exactly, and that, that is true, that we are aware of it. It is for a coronial process to decide whether a brain change had any made any contribution to the death of, of those three people. That will occur as it should, and it is not for us to adjudge that. We have gone back repeatedly in the face of this to our own expert clinical advisors, neurologists and psychiatrists, working with patients day in and day out. They have confirmed to us 
that it is safe to be using Logem, the preferred brand, on an ongoing basis. So you believe it was worth the risk? There is always factors to consider when brand changes are made, whether it's with this medication or others. We need excellent, strong processes wrapped around that. We need good review processes. But the whole point of this is to, firstly, ensure good health outcomes for New Zealanders. Well, with and respect, secondly, the whole point of this exercise was to save $30 million. And that, that, that is... No, you are incorrect. The reason to save $30 million is to use that $30 million for New Zealanders, for health and for medicines. Yeah, but how, that how is, is that the helping purpose. the 10,000 people with epilepsy, though? Many of whom were comfortable on their original medication until you decided that you would switch 95% of them to a drug that hardly anyone wanted to use for epilepsy. The reality is that Logem is used in 80 million doses around the world right now, in Australia, in Canada, in the UK, and multiple other countries. It is approved in those countries. It is approved by MedSafe in this country as a safe and entirely appropriate medicine for doctors to prescribe to patients in this country. Can you guarantee the ongoing supply of Lamictal and Arrow? I believe so. I'm, I'm, I cannot absolutely confirm that. That is n not something that I have at hand. Is it true that in your own risk assessment you judged a high likelihood that Arrow would pull out? Um, I understand that that is so, but there are three brands available. So in your own admission there is a high risk that Arrow will pull out? Uh, we, we had indications that that may be so. Yes, and you judged it a high risk. I remember seeing the advice on that. Indeed. And so you can't guarantee to the people who are on Arrow now, you're saying in your press release, oh, we'll fund the bit that you're on, drug you're on, we have, but you can't guarantee that because the company itself At this point may in not time, we do have an ability for patients, for the people who are on these medications, to use any of the three brands. And what impact will that have on the goals of saving $30 million? We believe very little, but frankly it doesn't matter because we want to, to use the resource as well as we properly possibly can. Well, let's unpick but those two things. What, what, what is the impact in your assessment? Because you're on the executive team, you must have done the numbers. You wanted to save 30 million over five years. With these changes, what impact does that have on the fiscals? It will have a minimal effect. Roughly? I can't give you a dollar amount, but it is not a significant factor. I reiterate that this is not about money. But it is about money because that's why you did it. You, it is about you, best use I, of resources I know that you wanted to use so that those. we can use that money sure. for other medicines, it is about money, not though. to go back into the government coffers. No, but it is about money because you wanted... Uh, I respect that the money wasn't going to be used fr frivolously. Mm -hmm. The money was going to be used for medicines. But you did this to save the money, so you can't then turn around and say, oh, the money doesn't matter. It would be a wrong of any organisation in the position of Pharmac to not be able to be thinking, considering, assessing information that, it come, that comes to it and adjusting its processes appropriately in the face of that, to just steadfastly hold in the face of uh, a previous decision would be irresponsible. Well, does that mean you got it wrong? It means that always we could have done even more in our preparation for this process. What could you have done that you didn't do? I guess in the fullness of time we'll learn from our reviews what we could have done even better, but I think the short answer to your question is even more communication with patients and their doctors. And there was minimal amount of that, wasn't No, it? there was a great deal of well, it. Well, MedSafe said that the switch should not occur when the patient reaches the pharmacy without prior counselling from the GP. They wanted all patients to see a GP and vulnerable patients, which included patients who are seizure-free, to see a specialist. And you said no. 
We have Didn't you? always advocated that patients discuss this with their own prescribers, their doctors. But, but that was they made, are in that... the best places, and the time to change brands is when a patient receives a new prescription. Yes, but the advice from MedSafe was that patients should see a GP, all patients before switching, and vulnerable patients should see a specialist, and Pharmac declined that. No, well, in the sense that I accept that, but we declined that on the basis of the advice from our specialist neurologists and psychiatrists who did not agree. OK, just finally, because I'm aware I've taken a lot of your time, if people are diagnosed with epilepsy now, um, are they going to start on Logan? Yes. Unless the doctor who is prescribing the Lamotrigine has reasons to believe that another brand should be used and they are able to uh, make an application to us for consideration of that. For the other few thousand people who are yet to switch, what do you recommend they do? I recommend they talk to their doctor. And do, does Farmac want them to switch to Logan? In the great majority of cases, the answer is yes. That's Farmac's medical director, Dr Ken Clark, speaking with Guy and Espiner. Now, the changes haven't only affected epilepsy patients. We'll hear more from other patients and Farmac's decision after six.